Hi, welcome to Go DIY White Blood. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are going to take this unfinished cocktail table or coffee table, whatever you call it, and do it in a gray contemporary finish. It is going to be so beautiful in the new home it's going to be placed in. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it now so you don't miss a thing. Come on, let's get started. We've said it once, we've said it a thousand times. A good project starts with good prep. You don't want your piece to feel like it's homemade. You want it to feel like it's professionally finished. So first, with the raw wood, we're gonna start sanding with a 120 grit sandpaper. This is nothing really aggressive. It's just opening up the grain of the wood. So it's just a really soft sanding on the entire piece. Next, we're going to wipe everything off with our tack cloth. We are ready to break into our General Finishes Gray Stone Stain. This is a beautiful stain. Now what we love about staining furniture versus painting furniture is the stain actually is absorbed into the wood and you have a lot of control over the end result. If you want the wood grain to show through, you're going to do a thinner layer and you're going to kind of wipe it into the wood so that you can actually see the grain. If you want it to look more refined, more modern, then you want to put that on a little heavier and not wipe it off so you're not necessarily seeing a lot of the wood grain. Another thing you're going to note is we start from the top and work our way down. Now when you're using a water-based stain, to the touch it's going to dry in about 30 minutes to 60 minutes, but you do want to let it actually sit for 4 to 6 hours before you do any sanding. Once we do start sanding, we're just going to go over it with a 220 sandpaper very, very lightly. We are not trying to remove any of the stain. We're just prepping the wood for the final top coat. It's the same process again. Once you do that light sanding with the 220, you are going to remove any dust and debris with that tack cloth. Anything left on the furniture is going to remain there if you do the top coat over it. The original plan when we started the project was to use General Finish's water-based high-performance top coat, but we shifted gears because we wanted something with a little bit more of a sheen. So we ended up going with General Finish's oil-based gel top coat in satin. It's going to not be shiny, but it is going to have a little bit more of a sheen to it, and it's going to give this piece great protection. Now, the biggest difference between working with water and oil-based products is the drying time. In between coats, you want to give a full 24 hours. So we wanted to give this piece three coats so it did extend our time so we put this on again making sure we're smoothing everything out not leaving a lot of buildup along the edges we waited for 24 hours gave it a light sanding again with that 220 grit sandpaper wiped it off with our tack cloth came back and did that a second and third time the third time, once you put that oil-based top coat on, you just let it dry. Now, with the curing time of that oil-based product, for actual full curing, it's going to take up to 30 days. Now, that doesn't mean you can't use the piece at all within that 30 days, but you do want to handle it a little bit more gently. You don't want to put a lot of heavy objects on your table. Now, if you're in the market for a cocktail table, a coffee table, an accent table, whatever, we have so many options, so many different sizes, square, rectangular, small accent tables in our line, something that will fit just right. And here we are all wrapped up, another project complete. It has the three layers of top coat, so it's protected for years and years to come. 
It's made of solid wood. It's not going anywhere. And it was just very easy to do and made us feel super duper accomplished. Now, not only did we save time, have a customized piece, we also saved a lot of money. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it now and don't miss a thing. And thank you for spending this time with us. We'll see you next time.